today's video we are going to be installing a different seat into this uh, c30 same thing as a c10 uh, k10 k20 k30 you get the idea and uh, most people do the new model chevrolet seats i ain't got the new model chevrolet seats so i won't be doing that but as you can see my bench is overdone this is the seat we'll be installing in the truck today it's got a fold down I probably will dye the fabric black here soon. I'm just going to fit it in and get everything the way I want it. It's fancy, I know. And it has cup holders in the back. And uh, i probably going to try to modify them to come out right here on the front. That way I have some cup holders. Now we're going to have to remove this big seat out of this C30, so I got a video on removing this seat on my channel. If you need more details on it, you can watch that video. It's a pretty short video, and uh, it might be very helpful. But in case you didn't know, there's just four bolts on this seat. One up here, one on that side. One straight down there and one on the exact side. It's pretty self-explanatory. These older model seats come out quite easy. So we're going to go ahead and take this out. And guys, once you get them four bolts undone, you feed your seat belts through it. And you pretty much get a help of a buddy. we got Tony over there. He's cleaning the truck up. And uh, lift it out. And that's pretty much how you remove your seat. Don't mind the grass. We'll clean it up. we got to clean it all good anyway if I'm going to dye it. Oh my God, look oh, at that, guys. That's a lot better. A lot better. You can set your McDonald's, Captain D's cups right there. Had your standard shift right here. So I guess this uh, seat uh, prop is uh, going pretty good so far. Now we got to test fit it in the C30. As I said before, I will pretty much uh, pour a seat back out to dye it black because I don't like the color of it. But the seat belt braces and stuff, I plan on taking them completely out because I won't need them with that style seat because Tony demonstrate for the people. Because they done really got the seat belts attached. Exactly. See, and a cup holder. Yeah, and a cup holder. Yeah, so we won't need none of that, but it's just test fitting right now because I have no idea how high or anything this seat's going to set. So stay tuned. Now, before we get any further in on this, guys, I'm going to show you this. This seat does set up way too high. And by my measurements, if we directly under this bolt right here, it will be a good height. So what we are going to do is take these brackets off this seat completely. And then I can weld a tab on here and make a attachment for it. So here we go. Fun, fun. Bracket removal time. But it looks pretty good in there. Okay, so basically what we decided to do on these is actually on both these brackets completely from the wells here and then build us some kind of system there and a mount system instead of just cutting them. It's a whole lot easier to just unbolt them. Okay guys, this is the seat placement in the C30. As you can see, everything's in here. This is actually a good height. I sat in it. I have tilt steering. It's perfect height for me. And uh, as you can see, see pretty much we can actually build a bracket to come off here and we drill a new hole now on the back side you will have to build a spacer definitely have to build a spacer for that also you will have to build a spacer here down now that needs lifted just a smidge which will be easy done cup holder does work and uh that's enough for today though because i gotta get some metal and stuff and the welder out and all that good stuff so you know it'll be a day for us and it happened just right uh, so i'm about to show you my chicken scratch of a weld but my seat is semi in place i made this bracket here with leftover from uh just like this other piece I just didn't have to cut nothing off of it this time. And I made a brace that sits over here. 
and it sits over on this. It's a square tubing. I think it's an inch square tubing. Yeah, that's the flux core, and it was not doing too good. The wells are shitty, I admit that. But with enough bed liner on the bottom of these brackets, you never know. Nope. So, out of sight, out of mind. It's got the two brackets. Now in the back, I don't know if I will put brackets because these two front brackets should hold it steady and keep it down. I mean, you might need something to uh, keep the back down, but once this is all bolted in and stuff, it should be good, I would think. But we'll see. I'm nowhere near done. Still got to do that side and fix this center console and drill and tap some bolts and clean everything up and paint it yeah this video is actually taking a few days but uh, if i had more time i could finish it in a day but for you it's instant you know so we got the seats all test fitted as you can see uh they in here i got them bolted down i'll show you exactly what i do they still a plastic piece that goes down over here and I might have these wheel postured now that I got them all bolted down. But what I did is I made my tabs here and right there. The welds ain't the best, but you can clean them up with some undercoating or some seam sealer or something. Make them look extremely good. Hmm. Look like somebody is coming up my driveway so i have to make this video on short but everything works out good does my fuel uh fuel seats and all that i can keep them all in uh keep this uh all my paperwork together because actually behind the seat i got my little pouch behind the seat here works out good fold that seat back looks great got my seat belts here i got all the factory seat belts removed but this is from a 2000 model dodge ram or 01 i can't remember but uh that's so far for the seat install i hope you enjoyed this video it ain't as easy as it looks but hopefully you get some ideas you can do your bracing and brackets different than mine but it just depends on you mine works out pretty good for me it's a rollback so that's pretty good so hit that subscribe button. I push it. If you do, be sure to uh, drop a like on this video because it helps my videos be shared and more people be able to see them. And uh, leave me a comment. What you think about the video? Did you do a seat upgrade in your C10, your C30? If so, let me know in the comment section what seats you used. I might want to change these out one day or something. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.